Seattle, food is not just for eating. It can also be used as a blank canvas. What I think is unique about the artwork is that he takes these subjects in everyday menial tasks and labors and hobbies and puts them against this giant dreamlike world of food. When it comes to art, some people make mountains out of molehills. For artist Christopher Buffoli, it's more like making them out of chocolate cake or popcorn. I'm Christopher Buffoli. I am a Seattle-based photographer for the photojournalism and fine art photography. I have a project that I call Big Appetites. Uh, it's also been called Disparity, and it features tiny little figures that are posed in real food worlds, macro photography, and it's uh, sold in galleries around the world. Some say life imitates art, but for Christopher, food imitates life, and it was his life as a child that served as his inspiration. When I was a kid, I was an avid model builder. I had a huge collection of Matchbox cars. When you're a kid, you live in an out-of-scale world anyway, and you often are playing with toys that are out of your scale. From french fries to Oreos, hot dogs to hamburgers, Christopher's work is always, well, tasteful. And it all starts with the perfect canvas. Food is very accessible, but also food can be very beautiful in terms of texture and color. It just worked. It is food represented as something you'd want to play with. And when it comes to playing with food, Christopher is an expert. I like to shoot with food that is fresh. I'm very, very lucky that we have this fantastic French bakery in my neighborhood. That work is, is art in itself. So sometimes, you know, the, the styling is done for me and I'll acquire the food, I'll bring it home, I'll style it and cut it, and I will um, set it up and light it. And then I have to imagine the context and, and what the figures are doing. I have to figure out what their destiny is. They're people that are usually working, so there's a, a message about labor, but it's also about portion size and overconsumption and some of the other issues that we have in America with food. And while Christopher has crafted a multi-layer message with his work, there's one quality that rises above all. <laughs> people immediately get the humor. Who wouldn't like to be in the middle of a cupcake swinging a golf club? This is just a wonderful place to be and you can delve into it with your imagination. As long as people are thinking and laughing and feeling something, um, that's a successful piece of art and that's a successful image. The bonus is that I get to eat the food afterwards.